In today's video, we are going to be talking about all of the known buildings that are going to be on the map of GTA 6. We talk about all of the businesses, skyscrapers, and other buildings spotted in the first official trailer and the leaks. It's been more than a month since we received the first official trailer for GTA 6, and most of the buildings and locations from the trailer have been discovered, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at what their real-life counterparts are. These discoveries were made by the GTA VI mapping community, so a huge shout-out to them. This is some serious detective work, and it's impressive how we know most of these locations. Here's the first image that we have from the introduction shot from the trailer. This gives us information about the two hotels that can be spotted on the far left side. You can see the names of the real life counterparts in the top right corner. The hotel on the left side that is marked with red is based on Morano Grande. The one on the right side that is marked with green seems to be based on Icon South Beach Condominium. Also, I'll be talking about these in no particular order, so we'll be jumping from shot to shot. Up next, we'll talk about the night shot from the trailer that showed us the Venetian Island. Islands. This image shows us some of the buildings and mansions that can be seen on the left side of the main road, including 700 W Dilido, 943 Venetian, 871 Venetian, 921 Venetian, 901 Venetian, and 801 Venetian. The next image gives us even more information, such as the Venetian toll booth, 1000 Venetian, and Venetian gatehouse. You can see the real life counterparts of these buildings around the screenshot from the trailer, and you can see how accurately Rockstar has recreated them. They are a bit blurry since they've been captured from Google Maps. It's kind of hard to see since it's a night shot, but nonetheless the detail is astounding. The next image also breaks down the buildings from the shot but also gives us information about the buildings in the background. We're gonna start from the left side and go around the image. The first one we have is the Venetian Isle Condominium. Above it we can see Mount Sinai Hospital Complex. Akoya Condominium is also visible. On the right of it we have Jade Ocean Condos. Going further right we have 5959 Collins Avenue. Blue and Green Diamond Towers. Treasure Tower which is where the shot with the bikini girl is from, Sunset Harbor South Condo, 1670 Lincoln Central, 1662 Lincoln Central, Ritz Carlton South Beach, Lowe's Miami Beach, Flamingo Point South Beach, a massive complex, 1500 Ocean Drive, Royal Palm South Beach, and 1000 Venetian is the building that is shaped like a staircase. This next image adds even more buildings such as the MEI Condo, the Mason Grande Condo, Sunset Harbor South Tower, Portugal Tower Condo, Final House Visit visibly under construction, W South Beach, New World Center, Lincoln Bay Tower, the Venetian Gatehouse is also marked, and the Flagler Island and Monument. The next image details the buildings from the Brickle area. The building on the left side of the shot is 300 South Biscayne Boulevard. The one that is visible right next to it is Southeast Financial Center. We also have Epic Residences. We can also see a barrier of some kind. It is either a metro barrier or perhaps a drawbridge barrier. In the center of the shot, we can see a building based on Brickle on the river. South Tower, and on the right we have 500 Brickle. This Google map shot gives us an idea of where the buildings are situated in real life, and it gives you a good idea of how Rockstar has scaled the area down. This next image breaks down some of the buildings from the shot with the guy on the boat that looks like Jeff Bezos, and also gives us information about two other shots, the night shot with Lucia and Jason in the supercar, and some buildings that can also be seen in the introduction shot. Starting from left to right we have the Kaseya Center that can be seen in both the shot with the guy on the boat and the one with Jason and Lucia. The one that is marked with orange is the marina blue also visible in both shots 10 museum park marked with green can also be seen in both shots and also marquise miami the boat guy shot also reveals the art center for the performing arts of miami dade county a parody of it will also exist in gta 6 as the boat passes by the camera pans to the right and shows us even more buildings such as the marriott biscayne which is also visible in the introduction shot we also have the oprah suits and the grand up next we have an image that breaks down the shot with lucia and jason and escaping from the police, presumably after robbing that convenience store. Going from left to right, we can see marked in green the roofs of some of the buildings behind the sign. The sign is marked in blue, and it is a sign at the mall entrance and three-way intersection. In the distance, marked with purple, we can see Aventura Hospital slash Commerce Building, and also a building in background. There's a crane, so it might be under construction, but on the right side, it's not marked on the image. You can see the sign, which is presumably for the mall. We also have a breakdown of some of the buildings that can be seen in the bikini girl shot we have the lowe's miami w south beach 3325 collins avenue the south beach towers in the distance and of course the treasure tower which is where the bikini girl and the npcs are located some other buildings that can be seen in the bikini girl shot are the lincoln office and the road mall which can also be seen in the leaks this is the shot from the leaks from 2022 and this office is also visible in the trailer it is marked with orange you can see it in both the google map shot and the trailer shot we also have the flamingo towers also visible in the trailer 
Shot, Capri South, Lincoln Bay Tower, and Lincoln Center. We also have the Waverly in the distance located behind Flamingo Towers. We have another breakdown from the shot. Some buildings are the same, but there are also some additional ones. From left to right, you can see in yellow, 1500 Ocean Drive, Royal Palm is marked with dark blue, the Lowe's Hotel marked with lighter blue. We also have the Fine House Tower, seems to be under construction, and also the Cadillac Hotel in dark blue, Generator Miami marked with orange, and Portugal Tower marked with cyan. In the distance, marked with purple, is the 16th Street Car Park. Next to it, marked with pink, we have the Courtyard by Marriott. Marked with orange is the Fisher Adult School, and marked with green is seemingly the Drexel Restaurant. You can see the W Hotel marked with red, and also the Gates Hotel, which is behind the Bikini Girl. With the next image, we're going back to the introduction shot, and it shows us a few hotels on the Ocean Drive Strip, such as Hotel Victor, which is also seen in another shot. It'll be named Hotel Dixon. We also have the Villa Casa Casu Arena, also known as the Versace Mansion, marked with red as Hotel Crescent. With yellow, we have the 1220 Ocean Drive, and also the Cardozo Hotel 1300 Ocean Drive, marked with blue. Also from the introduction shot, some of the hotels that can be seen in the foreground we didn't mention are 1500 Ocean Drive, Royal Palm South Beach, Miami, Sea Spa Lowe's, and Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel. This next image also breaks down some of the buildings that can be seen behind the port of Vice City in the boat shot from the first trailer. They include the Loft Downtown 2, Viscane South and North Towers, Marina Blue can also be seen with the see-through windows, what seems to be the Marquise Miami marked with dark blue, and also the one Biscayne Tower marked with purple. There might be some inconsistencies here and there, but most of these should be accurate. Impressive nonetheless that we have so much information. In the introduction shot, the Old City Hall Tower and Miami Beach PD can also be seen, and also the Moro's Italian Restaurant and Bar on Miami South Beach and Reach Brickle City Center. The next image gives us a breakdown of the beach shot. One of the hotels that can be seen is Hilton Bentley Miami slash South Beach 101 Ocean Drive. That's the yellowish hotel. And the other one is the Royal Atlantic Condominium 465 Ocean Drive. And we're jumping all over the trailer. We are back with the boat shot. Some of the buildings that can be seen this time on the left side of the cargo ship include Skyline on Brickle, Santa Maria Brickle, 1450 Brickle, the Four Seasons Hotel Miami, and also the SLS Lux Brickle Condos and Brickle Heights Condominium. Bentley Bay Condos and 1035 West Avenue can also be seen in the introduction shot. This next image shows us some of the buildings that we already looked at. However, this time there's an image from the leak that happened right before the trailer that shows these buildings such as the Quantum on the Bay from a different angle, opposite of the introduction shot. Up next, we have the shot with the Florida Man. Some of the buildings from that shot are the Stephen P. Clark Government Center and Flagler on the River. This next image shows us two more buildings from the night shot. Again, located on the Venetian Islands, 1396 as Venetian Way and 1427 and Venetian Way. This next image breaks down the shot with the running obese guy. Some buildings can be seen in the background, potentially Hilton, Grande, Quantum, Condos. Again from the introduction shot, two to cast the point, three to cast the point, Echo Brickle under construction from 2014 to 2017, which also seems to be under construction in game and four seasons. I'll quickly go over some of these other locations and buildings. We have the Knight's Key, the Redneck Mud Park, the Breakwater Hotel, the Floridian from the introduction shot, also Fisher Island, potentially the Gabriel, the Largo Wastewater Treatment, the Setai Hotel, Council Towers North, Tower 2 of the Plaza on Brickle, 900 Brickle, Club Space 34NE, 11th Street, Miami, Florida, 33132, Sunset Car by North, the 7th Street Parking Garage, the Lincoln Center and Lincoln Office Building, and Courtyard Marriott from the Bikini Girl Shot, the City View Parking Garage in Wynwood, the Theodore's Building, 110 and W14 Street, seen in the music video Drift Shot, and that same shot, we also have the 1301 NW Miami CT, Miami, Florida, 33136. We also have the 17107 as W248 Street, Miami, Dental World of Miami, seen in the distance in the introduction shot, 1566 Washington Avenue, Turkey Point Power Plant, seen in the opening shot, Top Golf and Doro, also seen in the Jason and Lucia escape shot, 1090 W28 Street, seems to be the location of the old lady with the hammers. We also have the Eloquence on the Bay, the Pit Barbecue, seen when Lucia is shown in the car, the 915 Bomb Avenue and St. Petersburg, Florida, 178th Avenue, 100 Lincoln Road, 1468-1448 Washington Avenue, the Icon Brickle scene in the introduction shot, and the 441 16th Street, the USP Coleman 2, 10900 10 Miami Trail, Business 98 and Kirkland Panama City from the Port Gilhorn shot, 1 and W 62nd Street, Miami, Florida, 33150, we also have the 1043 Washington Avenue, Miami Beach, the 6238 Tyndall Parkway, another 
another angle of the Stefan P. Clark Government Center from the biker shot and also the Pelican Harbor seen in the night shot of the Venetian Islands. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of some of the buildings that can be seen from the GTA 6 trailer 1. There may be some inaccuracies here and there, but for the most part, it gives us a good idea of what buildings to expect from GTA 6. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe for more GTA 6 videos just like this one. If you want to participate in the giveaway that I'm currently hosting of an Xbox Game Pass code, 3 months for PC, join my Discord from the link in the description for more details. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.